All right, time to talk about the weather, and Aaron is here, and it's so nice, Aaron. This is the last weekend of August, and we're not in triple digits. Isn't that incredible? Yes. I mean, first of all, it's the last weekend of August, but think about <laughs> June and July, the early part of August, the heat that we were under, and oh, now boy. we're dealing with normal, if not below normal temperatures. Of course, we did have the flooding rain. Uh, not everyone wanted that, but now the rain chance is a little more minimal. We've watched a few showers pulse up to the east of I. 35 kind of been watching in Dallas County. You can see right there a little shower pulsing up and then pulsing down just as quickly. Most of us are going to be rain free through tonight and any rain that we're seeing not really impacting temperatures too much. The rain is a little bit more widespread in East Texas. So you can see Mineola right now sitting at 84, but most of us in North Texas in the low 90s, but feeling as if we're in the mid 90s because it is still August in Texas. And yes, we are dealing with some humidity. So your Friday night lights for Forecast. We've got upper 80s by 7 o'clock. I do think it's still probably going to be feeling like 93 to 94 degrees. That humidity is really the big thing for tonight. East winds at 5 to 10, but mostly clear as we head into the 8, 9 o'clock hour. I don't think we're going to have to be contending with any rain. The humidity, though, it's noticeable. Dew points are in the mid and upper 60s. This is kind of that range where it's uncomfortable uh, for most of us, especially when you're dealing with temperatures in the 90s. Uh, we're going to keep this around as we go through the weekend. Mornings, you see dew points very high, but you notice as we get into the afternoon, we still have a lot of spots with low 70s for the dew point on Saturday and into Sunday as well. So we're going to be noticing that humidity. There's a lot of moisture in the air, and we watch as we get into Monday, more moisture and some showers and storms back into the forecast. Coverage kind of picks up for early next week. Tomorrow, I've got that coverage only at about 20%. It's hot and humid, high of 93, south, southeast winds at 5 to 10. Sunday, I think we notice more cloud cover around. The rain coverage still at about 20%. The breeze is picking up, though. South winds at 10 to 20, so a high of 95, a little breezy, still muggy, though, and then we watch for those rain and storm chances to increase on Monday. Coverage is at 30% on Monday, picks up to 50% on Tuesday, and I think Tuesday, late Monday into Tuesday is really where we're going to see the bulk of the heaviest rain across North Texas, but into Wednesday and Thursday, rain coverage still at at about 30 to 40 percent. The one thing it's going to do, all these rain chances, it's going to keep the temperatures a little below normal for this time of year. Normal is 94 to 95 degrees over the next several days. So we're looking at upper 80s and low 90s for next week. Uh, by the 1st of September, 30 percent chance for rain and storms with a high of 89, guys.